right, another glorious E3 is coming to a close and it's time to pick a winner on today's Nerdist News. It's Thursday at the most amazing show on earth and we're chilling with our friends up here in performance design products in the West Hall. And while it feels like our minds have been blown by pretty much everything we've seen this year, and now that we've gotten our hands on the brilliant titles in tech, there can only be one Highland, I mean, winner. So who is it? Who is the king of this year's E3? Why not a queen, huh? Anyway, well, Nintendo tried their best with the brand new Star Fox, a mashup Mario and Luigi Paper Mario title, some new Animal Crossing, and a pretty unique twist on Metroid. But hey, puppets! Microsoft showed up with some solid games like ReCore, Halo 5, Sea of Thieves, and Gears 4, but really impressed with some changes that'll make the Xbox more PC-like in a good way. The system will finally get mods with games like Fallout 4 and Doom, have a new, more customizable Elite controller, and even get its own version of Steam's early access program, letting gamers buy a game before it's finished to help out with development. They're even bringing much needed backwards compatibility to the system for 360 games, but the real hotness was Microsoft's HoloLens, an augmented reality headset that'll turn games like Minecraft and eventually Halo into holographic experiences that'll make you feel like Tony Stark. In tech that needs to be seen to be believed and a truly stellar showing from our Xbox friends. And our last contender, Sony, y'all! They didn't bring any innovative hardware changes and barely showed off their Morpheus VR headset. But when it comes right down to it, E3 is all about the games and in regards to that, I just gotta say, holy shit! The studio brought wildly creative new games like Horizon Zero Dawn and Media Molecule's Dreams showed off an incredible Uncharted 4 demo. And then there was the Big Three, a trio of massive announcements that resulted in so many friggin' tears from yours truly and pretty much everyone else in the room. Shenmue 3, The Last Guardian, ah! and a gorgeous Final Fantasy VII Remake are all coming to the PlayStation 4. And I just, I just, I just can't even. A huge showing from all three of our contenders. Microsoft brought it in the hardware department. Nintendo brought puppets. But we here at Nerdist News have to give it to Sony. In the great words of Daryl Hall and John Oates, you make my dreams come true. Woo, 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 woo. No, nobody else? Nobody else. That's cool. All right, thank you. But what do you guys think? Did the HoloLens blow you away? Did you cry during Sony's panel? Why not? Are you some kind of monster? Let's discuss. Click on the teeming masses to subscribe to the Nerdist channel. Kyle can tell you how sonic screwdrivers work on an all new Because Science. And don't miss our constant stream of Nerdist E3 updates by heading over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist E3 news.